Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor. Today, I'm gonna to be taking my six GPU rig that's on that corner over there. You guys can see that it's actually flashing RGB lights. Today, I went to Best Buy to pick up my seventh card. It finally arrived. My rig only holds up to six because of the motherboard. So there's a limitation here, but I did order something else and I do wanna test it today. And I am going to be installing it, checking to make sure that it actually works. So what I will actually have to do is remove one of the, Ryza card USBs is currently utilizing one in the space there. Plugging this guy in using the USB cable to power this board and I will get because it's going to utilize one PCIe slot on the motherboard I will actually have so realistically it's three additional so one of the existing cards on there will have to come back on this card on this riser and then this card this new card that i just purchased will be coming on to another one so that's seven and then the eighth one all right guys now that the rig is offline of course we got to make this nice and sweet because i'm losing money as we're doing this because it's offline right now it's not generating anything and it's not mining what i am going to do is relocate this xfx card over to the other end because i want to keep the four gigabyte cards that i have together i'm just ocd like that so i will be kind of fast forwarding through this process now i do need room underneath here to install this actual card and the pcie expansion so i'm going to be removing this gigabyte card for now so pretty much what i'm going to be doing is taking the very end pcie slot that i have down here trying to get this zoomed in as close as possible this last slot is what i'm going to take out and we will be installing the one that the its expansion came with and of course you see that it doesn't even want to fit because of the way the motherboard is you see that it's not meant for a rig frame i'm going to be taking it off the bracket and just installing the pcie adapter itself and with the magic of video editing this is what it looks like without the piece and i'm just going to install it down here and it fits in nice little snug so it's not too loose hopefully you know as long as it doesn't get touched or moved too frequently it should be okay now the expansion does come with some extra screws so you can mount it on to wherever you need it to now the thing is this frame actually has a few extra holes but i'm not sure if they are all going to be utilized to be able to install this correctly or have it sit without having to pre-drill additional i probably would need about two so i'm going to find a place to actually fit this or kind of position it where or maybe i just have it sit on this this is where it would be because it's the only spot left on this frame that i can actually utilize so what i decided to do is actually place the board where i want it to install i'm going to mark up the four holes i'm going to pre-drill my own holes so that way i can mount it on this frame without any movement of it at all because right now it doesn't have enough holes to even though it has a couple of pre-drilled holes it doesn't have enough to actually hold this in place without moving around and I want it to be secured. So I will be drilling the holes and I have a drill bit and no wider than the screw that I will be using and I will be drilling four holes right here onto the frame. Just make sure you clear everything out of the way and that you have room to actually go past. Now we have the four holes drilled. I'm gonna be getting a vacuum just to clear up some of the dust and I'm gonna be mounting that board on. After I drill the hose, I actually install the screw from the bottom up so we can screw that in. Then once we put the board on top, we can mount it all together. Now, these are not your regular standoff. These are just threaded on both ends. So what I did was put a screw underneath. I took this screw, put it underneath, and then screw this on top, and then I'll put the board on top. You can see I placed the screw from the bottom up, and now I'm just gonna screw this in. I believe that was the hardest part. Now I have it all mounted with four screws. So it is in place. And the next thing I'm gonna be doing is plugging in the USB cable from the expansion PCIe card over to the expansion where I would be placing the individual riser USB connection. So I'm gonna take the original USB cable that came with this expansion card, plug it in here. And this is what it's gonna be providing power. And here is an overview of it. Now I'm gonna be placing back the GPU cards plus the additional one. So we'll have seven cards. So let's get to that. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing because I have no more PCIe slots on the motherboard, I am gonna be using this expansion and I'll be plugging it onto the first one. From this point on, I'm gonna be utilizing two additional slots on this expansion card, PU number six 
and GPU number seven. All right, now that I completed moving all the cards in its position, running each USB cable from first to last and in at order so the cable actually reaches all the way towards the end. Now the last thing I'm gonna actually be doing is plugging in PCIe cable to the breakout board and connecting it to a splitter where I can power the riser and the GPU itself. So I'm just gonna be plugging this in as to the riser, riser and the GPU, and this is going out to the breakout board. So find whatever position you have available. Ooh, hey, Parallel Miner, one of my cables that you sent has a broken clip and it's first time using it. That's an oopsie. Just make sure it's secure and I probably won't touch that and be really very mindful of that particular one since it doesn't have a clip on it. But it should not hinder the ability for it to power up the GPU. The eight pin on top, the six plus two is going into the GPU. And that is the last of it, guys. Now I have seven cards in total. I have four gigabyte cards and three XFS cards. Everything is powered up right now. Everything is plugged in and I will validate that once we get power into this guy. Now you can see the expansion card does have a blue LED light identifies that it's actually on. And the last two cards are the ones that are actually connected to that and the risers are blinking. And of course the Gigabyte logo on top is also lit. But of course that's feeding from the power supply. We just have to make sure that this connectivity going into the motherboard because that expansion is going to the last slot of the PCIe on the motherboard. So let's hope we can all detect that. Let's go into my screen right now. All right guys, so I'm very happy to report that I do have the seven cards detected right now. I did have some technical difficulties because the USB cable that was connecting to the PCI card for the expansion was not all the way in and I was going crazy for like the longest time trying to figure out why those two cards weren't working because everything else seemed to be powered on. There was power being delivered over to the expansion card. It had a blue light on it. Uh, so it was just my technical error. I did not plug the cable all the way in to the PCIe side of that card. Now, I do currently have seven cards detected. One additional card, which is the uh, 6600 XT from Gigabyte. So to recap on this video is that I purchased a four PCIe expansion slot card. Uh, so from my existing motherboard that has six, you I took one of the six PCIe card slots, plugged that in for the expansion. And from there, I got back three, right? Because, uh, well, I got back the full four so right now, total, I have six, seven, eight, nine slots. It's basically nine slots. So I, I purchased a four card expansion PCIe for my motherboard that only has six PCIe slots. So what I had to do was take that card that I purchased, plug it into the last slot on the motherboard, which this, you could plug it into any port uh, PCIe slot you choose. I just chose the last one because it was closest to the last two um, new GPUs. And that expanded it to an additional four more PCIe slots. And with that, I'm able to make this entire rig with the eight GPU. I'm supposed to be doing another pickup from Best Buy that I purchased before the New Year's and it hasn't come in yet. So obviously there is a delay and I'm debating if I should actually get it or not get it. I'm still up in the air on that. I may choose to not just take it and, and get my refund on it. I know a lot of you guys are going to say, just get your money back because it's not worth it. My goal was to really just max out this whole rig with eight cards and see how much I can actually pull in from there until Ethereum decides to do what it needs to do by this coming year or well, this year. Let's see what happens. They, they forecast that by this summer that something is going to change and then we'll not be able to mine it anymore. So. Uh, only time can tell. I want to thank you guys for being here. And please remember to like, comment, and subscribe because I enjoy doing content like this as well on top of my other things that a million other things that I like to do. So this is just one of it. And I want to thank you guys again. See you again soon. Bye.